Good day, YouTube. It's the 29th of January, 2021. This is my 1966 Ford F100, my new shop truck. And I uh, did just take it for its little maiden void. Made a, just a quick trip around the block. Um, could never get it into second gear. Got to do some adjusting on the linkage, no doubt. On the column shifted three speed. And uh, it was kind of got a noisy drivetrain. Not sure where the noise is coming from exactly, but uh, we'll... Uh, keep di digging in and figure it out um other than that it performed pretty well i never really warmed it up so wasn't much i could do with it but i think it's time to turn it into my shop truck and that is putting glenn's speed shop on the doors i polished out this door and i just finished polishing out the other door with the buffer so i could uh do just that i do have a little bit of experience lettering but not a lot obviously i did the mystery machine uh, back when I painted this thing, it's going on, I don't know, eight or nine years ago or something now. And, um, you know, it turned out okay. The whole idea is this is more of a cartoon than a showpiece, and that's kind of what I wanted it to look like. But let me show you what I, how I did this one and how I'm going to do the shop truck. When I did the Scooby van, I literally loaded the cartoon into my laptop, hooked it up to a projector, and shined the image on the side of the van. Back in the day, I didn't have much of a projector, so I kind of had to wait till nighttime to do it. But this is the logo that I spent hours dealing with, um, and that's the look that I want. So that's what's going on the truck, and uh, there it is. So this is how I roll with it. Simply going to shine the image onto the side of the truck with the projector and then outline it with a pencil and then come back and freehand it, okay? So, uh, you, you kind of get in your own way of doing it this way. But it's kind of what you gotta do. You kind of gotta stay out of your way a little. Like so. Trying to watch what I'm doing and camera at the same time. So you kind of get the idea of what we're doing here. So I'm going to continue and try to get this done because it's uh, not raining or anything outside. and. Uh, Try and get all these outlines done, at least get that part done today. And then tomorrow or whatever, we can uh, start painting. So I, I actually spent an hour trying to get this stripe off of here. The previous owner got most of the rest of it off. I'm not sure what he used, but I'm starting to run out of ideas. So um, it was tough. So uh, I wanted to get that off before I put paint on here, but uh, I want to take advantage of the weather as well. So. Let me uh, keep doodling here, and I'll show you what I've got when I'm done. All right, I mean, it's just in pencil, but uh, I think you can see it okay. Through the dings and the scratches of the natural patina. How's that? Not sure if you'll be able to see it too good from way away, so... Anyway, that's the outline. I'm going to turn this truck around, do the other door, and then get it back inside. And uh, might get started painting it today, or might just wait till tomorrow. All right, gang. Progress uh, continues. It's Saturday morning. Um, probably looks okay in the picture, but uh, pictures can be deceiving. I am far. Like I'm as far away from an artist as you could possibly get, um, but we are proceeding. It's going to be a 20-footer at best, but we're getting there. So we're using the... Uh, uh, my wife actually set me up with the pinstripe setup and sign painter setup. Uh, some of the brushes I'm using aren't the greatest. These are just artist brushes, but, the, you know, a one-shot... Um, sign painters paint, lettering enamel, this red I 
I think I have four or five colors, you know, black, white, red, blue, maybe a green or something. Anyway, um, buy these little half pints. Um, you literally need about, for a sign like this, you need like 15 drops. That's what it, all it takes, you know, a little bit of uh, thinner mineral spirits and you'll have it. So um, it dries pretty quickly. So you kind of got to keep thinning it as you go. Um, again, it's going to look way better in the video, thank goodness, than it is for here. If you're looking for a how-to video on how to sign paint, you've come to the wrong place. Um, there are way good videos out there for people that really know how to do this. Um, but uh, I'm not going to hire this done. This is my truck. I'm going to do everything on it. Somebody says, you know, who did the exhaust, who did the motor, who did the whatever. It's me. If I broke down on the side of the road, it's me. Uh, who did the lettering, looks like crap. It's me. So, uh, anyway, it's me. So, uh, yeah, we'll do the last letter together. Okay, I'm just going to reach out here what I can. Try to follow the lines. I don't think I colored much as a child. Maybe that's why I'm not much of an artist. I was, I'm sure I completely blocking your view, but what am I going to do, right? I'm just horrible. Oh, there is to it. Just horrible. But we're getting it done. This is the best I can do. I should order some real decent sign painters brushes. Um, these I got at uh, like Hobby Lobby or something. And they're not horrible, but got to find an excuse somewhere, right? I figure by the time I get this truck done, all the lettering will be a little better than it was when I started. But man, I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. So it is what it is. Yep. So when you're pouring your paint to do something like this, remember, just I've wasted more paint than I've ever used. Um, you just need drops of it. Like they recommend with sign painters paint, you never actually take the lid off. You just pop a hole in it and put a sheet metal screw in it to stop the paint from falling out. My hand shakes so bad. Ooh, yeah. There we go. There's that. I'm going to edge this with a black. I don't know if it'll make it better or if I'll make it worse. It is what it is. All right. It's supposed to look old, so I'm putting it on kind of thin so that it kind of streaks it, kind of dulls it, makes it look like it's worn out, so to speak. So. I want to tell you that it's really awesome and it looks great and it does look pretty good on camera but mm. if you see it in the parking lot don't get closer to about 25 feet and it'll look just like this cool well I'm going to uh, probably go to the other side 
and keep on painting and uh, then we'll come back um, later in today today I got the a little electric heater going down there and I got my gas heater going. I've got the shop actually pretty warm. It's not that cold out. Sorry for my squeaky uh, camera stand. Um, oh, by the way, this morning I, I I stuck this thing out for a little test drive yesterday. I didn't take you along. I apologize for that, but it was really kind of impromptu because I wanted to get it outside so I could use the projector. So I took it for a test drive and I, I couldn't get this thing into second gear and it shifted really goofy. Um, so I kind of thought about it last night, watched a few videos. There really wasn't anything out there. I should have done a video on adjusting the linkage on my three-speed column shift transmission, but I didn't. Um, but I did go through the uh, column shift linkage and adjusted it this morning. And I'll just kind of tell you briefly. Um, I disconnected the linkage from the transmission, and I found full forward and full backward on both of the shift levers. And then I found full forward and full backward on the linkage, and they were way off. I mean, like an inch off. I'm starting to think that this whole engine transmission got planted into this thing, and it maybe it's never been driven with it in there. I don't know. I didn't get that information. I didn't get the history when I got this thing. So uh, after I figured out where center was on the transmission, I readjusted the linkage so that I was centered in the linkage, and then... I kind of put everything back together. I bent the rods slightly so they wouldn't bump into things and stuff like that. And uh, I'll be darned. It actually shifts pretty good. So I do have a floor shifter for this thing. Um, and I probably will upgrade that in time. But for now, the uh, column shifter is working good. All right. Let me go to the other side and uh, see if I can improve <laughs> my artistic ability. All right, we've zoomed ahead to Sunday morning, and I'm outlining the letters. I can honestly say I'm not sure if I'm making them better or worse. I sure wish I was better at this, but I'm clearly not. Clearly not. <clears throat> I will say these brushes that I got because I was not thinking ahead and actually ordered, you know, high-end lettering brushes. I just got these at Hobby Lobby. Aren't bad. I'd like to blame the brushes for my poor quality, but it's not the brushes. I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. We're just running with it. Just running with it. Getting a little better, but not very good. I noticed under the truck this morning I got antifreeze leaking from more than one spot. That's not cool. Right. 
S's. I hate S's. Too many curves. Too many curves. Here we go. Last letter. Really doesn't help when my stick moves. Got that one way too wide. This one's horrible. Horrible, horrible. What are you going to do? Well, good, bad, or different. It's done. It's done. Let me give you a close up. No, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. You're not getting very close to this. So this is passenger side. I did the driver's side this morning. Driver's side. Right. Well, gang, that completes my lettering. I can move on to other things. I, what I need to do uh, this week is kind of concentrate on... Uh, well, I need to look and see where that water antifreeze is coming from, I guess. But I really wanted to get the uh, aesthetics of this thing kind of detailed kind of lined up a little bit um truck really needs a good cleaning and polishing and i got you know a million holes to weld in so um because i need to take pictures of this for my insurance um so i wanted to make it presentable for that i don't need to finish everything but just get it you know cleaned up and make it look good in pictures if you will so that's uh, kind of next on the list, I guess. So, But for now, gang, I appreciate you watching the videos. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit that bell notification because we'll put videos out. You know, they're very random, but uh, one, two, three a week, four a week, whatever we're doing. And uh, appreciate uh, the thumbs up on the way out the door. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.